You called the plumber? I sure did. Today we're installing a toilet. It's a good thing to learn how to do so you don't have to pay a plumber to do it. This skill is used in any business, home, or location where there are bathrooms. Um, the function the skill performs is properly installing a toilet, uh, making sure the toilet is fully functional. The job outlook for plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters have an above average outlook at 12% in the next 10 years. Uh, the average salary in 2014 was $50,000 or about $24 per hour. Most plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters must learn through a four to five year apprenticeship, must have 1,700 to 2,000 hours of on the job training and around 250 hours of related tech information. Uh, apprenticeships are offered by unions and businesses who specialize in plumbing, pipe fitting, and steam fitting. Materials in need for this project are as follows a toilet, a wax gasket ring slash kit. Toilet shims, plumber's putty, low hanging jeans, preferably Wrangler, but um, Lee or Urban Pipeline should do the trick. Uh, found at JCPenney or Target. Um, a bucket to collect water from the toilet, and paper towels in case of water spills. Mm -hmm. Any of these objects can be found at any via local home improvement stores such as Lowe's or Home Depot. Let's get started. So, our first step in installing this toilet is to shut off the water first. And it's found by a knob down here. Turn that all the way to the right. The water will be shut off. Next step, is to flush the toilet. You want to make sure, take off the lid here. You want to make sure that the water did not fill up again. I think it did. So our next step here is to grab your bucket. Um, so supposedly the tank was supposed to fill up just a little bit. And that's what this bucket is used for, actually. <clears throat> um, so you're gonna, there's a part out of the toilet here that you're gonna unscrew. So we're gonna place the bucket underneath there to let all the water drain into that. Oh, I don't know why nothing's coming out. I'm gonna keep twisting this thing until something happens, I guess. Oh, got a few drips. Now the rest should drip out. So, I found out what, what, uh, what happened here. I guess it's just a certain toilet that, uh, that, that we have here. But nothing is going to leak from this one. Everything's connected inside. On a st standard toilet, I bet it, you're going to want to keep the bucket down there mm -hmm. in case of a little water coming out. So not, nothing came out, so we're all good there. So our next step here is to take the, in this case it's a 7 16th wrench. <laughs> We're going to unscrew the two nuts down below the toilet here. Um, peel these back here. We're going to unscrew these. Next step is to uh, lift up the toilet after the screws have been un just loosened up. Here we're going to do, um, we're going to actually, actually need a second person for this. Um, oh, hey, would you, do you mind giving me a hand here? Thanks. So we're going to have to. Jimmy this a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, we need that towel. On the floor. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Alright, here you go. Alright, alright, <laughs> Okay. Okay. So you're gonna wipe up all the water underneath here. Make sure everything is uh, cleaned up. Take the wax ring. Put it in a bucket. Clean everything on the inside. Thirty-one fourteen. Okay. Now we're gonna take our wax gasket kit 
We're gonna put it on where the old one was. That worked. <laughs> All right. Place it in the hole where the old one was. Line it up. Um, so yeah, it's lining up. We're gonna lift the toilet over the gasket here and make sure that the screws in the the two screws in the hole line up with the two screw holes in the toilet. Okay, so the toilet's in place. You're gonna want to get on it, wiggle, wiggle on it so, so it gets firmly into place. You wanna got screw this. Um, do not tighten too tight in the nuts. Make sure everything's in set or in place. Oh, there we go. These two toilet caps here, I think they're just for decoration. Place those over the nuts. Next, we're gonna get the water screwed back in. Just gonna uh, tighten this like this. It's already, already on there, so that's all good. Water's hooked back up. Um, toilet shims, they're used for, so say you have a creek, it didn't seal all the way, and it's rocking back and forth. You could stick a toilet shim underneath, snap it off, you know, seal that toilet or create the toilet, or stop the toilet from rocking. Uh, plumber's putty, we also don't need to use this either, because that's, um, that's for the same reason, just to seal under other, any cracks under the toilet, if it was rocking or anything like that. So we're gonna turn on the water right now, just check for any leaks. Turn that back to the left. Good to go there, moment of truth. Flush the toilet, look for any leaks around the side of the toilet. Um, nothing. Put the uh, thing back on, not sure where that went, so after you unput that on, and you're good to go. Everything looks uh, good to go. Yeah, thanks for coming today. Not a problem, man. Um, so just for future references, the materials you're going to need for this, you're going to need a gas, uh, wax gasket ring, a, uh, some toilet shims, uh, some low hanging jeans, uh, a bucket, paper towels, and uh, some plumber's pipe. Uh, and then a wrench maybe, and that should you should be good All to right. go. Sounds so, yeah, good. Not a problem, man. Hey, uh, thanks again. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Why don't you ever pay, play poker with a plumber? Um, I don't know why. A good flush beats a full house every time. <laughs>